morning, gang. Welcome to THQ. They make the coolest games around. And here with me today is Brian Farrell. He's going to take you through the paces and let you know what you're going to be doing. Well, thank you, Steve. So here at THQ, it's all about fun and creative video games, and that's what you're going to get in WWE All-Stars. So today, you're going to be paired up with our best designers to create your own dynamic, in-your-face WWE superstar that you want to be. You guys up for that challenge? Yes, yes sir. All right, let's go. Nobody knows more so than myself how creative you need to be as I came into the WWE and back end of 1995, they called me the ringmaster. Ringmaster all the way from behind! Then after about six months of doing that, I said, you know what, this sucks. This is never going to be on a marquee. So I started getting my gears going and Stone Cold Steve Austin was created. It was a concept that I had. 70,000 wonderful fans. Relying on my creative energy. So here we are to, to teach these kids about creativity. It goes through a bunch of different options for customizing your hair, how your appearance looks. It's like, wow, I get to make my own diva. I'm gonna give her really big boobs. <laughs> so many choices. It's like I could do that on that side and the same thing on the other side. But like that. I wanted to bring out something with me in that character, so I put him in a set of underwear and put some boots on him, and I kind of gave him, you know, uh, my hair and some tats. He's an ass-kicking dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything on my character, the red and blue, is for the SmackDown, the WWE product. I put really small trunks on it because that's for the ladies, and I built up my legs really huge. I think I'm good. Is that hit safe? I want these contestants to sell me on the fact they believe what they're telling me. I'm looking for some creativity in how they deliver this message and the point that they get across. You guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's get this show on the road. Menacing monster of mayhem, the Mitchell. What the hell is that? Is that you, Jeremiah? Hey. I gave my character the name The Natural because everything just really comes natural to me. I wanted not just one particular, like a high fire or a brawler or, or a grappler. I wanted the best overall person, which I think that I, I that I could be. A living engine of destruction. All right. <laughs> so I gave my character the name Michaela because I feel like that's a really cool, like, ass-kicking name. She'd be like a crazy superhero. That's an adequate demonstration. <laughs> Obviously, molded after some of your tastes, some of your likes. Yeah, I had like my set was more of like acrobatic style, so I kind of molded that into like how I feel I am in the ring. All right, let's see AJ and Luke. This is my creation. That's you. What's his name? Jackson Crash? Yeah. Ah. The last elimination, Steve had some advice for me, and he told me that I'm boring. He told me that watching me in there is like watching grass grow, so I kind of took that to heart. A skilled competitor. Why does that remind me of you, Luke? <laughs> My character is kind of a bad boy rock star. I went with the orange and uh, black theme because I was just thinking of like a, a tiger pouncing on his prey. Luke, what's the name of your guy? The future legend. The future legend. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Crash, what, what were you thinking when you created this guy? I kind of got this idea of this just big, demonic looking metalhead. And so it started with the big, long head of hair, and then came the the jeans and the boots and the tats and the, the red eyes and everything, so I'm real happy with how it turned out. Luke, I got a good sense that your character had some hair gel going in there. <laughs> yeah, it looked like it. Kind of spike hairdo there. Well, tell me what was going on there. Well, kind of learned yesterday in the ring that sometimes being creative doesn't mean trying to do too much so it looks goofy and hokey. Well done, well done. Let's uh, kick it down to Martin and young Andy over there as they show us what they've concocted. <laughs> Somebody's got an ultimate warrior influence here, mister. As far as everything on my character, he stands up for what's right. He's the ultimate good guy. When I kind of just made me, amped up a thousand times. Put your hands together for this amazing talent. Silent Rage, huh? Sir. All right, Silent Rage. Being able to create 
that image of myself in silent rage. You know, I was really got to put a, a picture to the picture that's in my mind. Oh, all right, go, Andy. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I kind of dig that guy you created. Uh, it looked like uh, a version of you. Maybe you'd really like to bust out. Silent Rage to me is something that, it's a fire. It's an intensity you have inside you. When it breaks free, it's just all hell breaks loose, man. So that's the persona that I see myself in the WWE. Brian, which one of these characters would, would you have picked to be your next superstar in your next video game? I think I got to go with Luke. What'd you like about that presentation? You know, it was him, but caricatured up in a way that I thought made sense. It hung together. My creation today in the video game was a reflection of myself in the WWE ring, and the CEO of THQ recognized that's a very marketable character, and it shows that he recognizes a real superstar when he sees one. It was a good day at the office. Bill and Mott and Booker T are waiting back at the ranch for you to take you through the paces. You've got a two-hour training session. Y'all go get your asses kicked. Goodbye.